checked in, getting up here to <laughs> the Kronos Club was a little bit of a whirlwind. We got all checked in downstairs and then we were escorted up to the club up here, which is incredible. And of course my hands were full and they're like, breakfast ends in five minutes, go ahead and grab a plate and then we'll get you all checked in and settled in your room. And so they're holding my luggage over there. So it was a little bit, just a little chaotic. <laughs> They wanted to make sure we got some food, which is awesome. So we went ahead and got our breakfast plates. I got some sausage, some like egg frittata, and Ellie got some salami, hard-boiled eggs, uh, some cinnamon cake. Uh, yeah, so very impressed with the food selection so far. I'm glad we made it by five minutes. We made it for breakfast. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and then I will check back in once we get kind of settled into our room and get through the check-in process fully. All right, we are room 9143. We just put all of our stuff in the room and I had to show our view real quick. I'll do a separate room tour and share everything, but this is a standard view room. And you can see off in the distance, the Hollywood Tower Hotel, and then kind of through, if I can get the right angle, there, you can see the Epcot ball. <laughs> so we might be able to see the Epcot fireworks, like barely, <laughs> but still a really great view. But I'm gonna do a full room tour so you can see everything, but this is our room. Very, very exciting. All right, we got all settled in the room. I filmed a quick room tour, so I will have that video linked down below for you. And it's about 11.30, so kind of too early for Ellie's quiet time, but late enough to where I don't wanna go to a park. So we are headed to the pool. So we're gonna check it out. And I think we're just gonna hang out at the resort this afternoon and the Kronos Club, their snacks open up at 12. So I think when we're done here, we'll pop back up to the club and grab another bite to eat and probably go back to the room, but we'll hang out at the pool for just a little bit. just left the pool and we are walking back to Grand Destino right now. But Ellie had a great time playing on the staircase at the main pool. The only thing about the kids area is I feel like it's geared more towards babies, and little toddlers because it's just a little kiddie pool with some fountains and it's not an actual splash pad. So there's not a great option for kids who can't swim but also are past the little toddler years you know so that's the only thing about the pool here at coronado is for that age like i don't know maybe three four five before they're swimming it's maybe not the best pool for that age specifically so we're gonna head up to the room i'm gonna get ellie all dried off in some clean clothes and then we're gonna go check out the lunch in the chronos club go Oh, right here. Right here. Which one? All right, we got to press number 15. All right, so we are letter E. All right, so over here. So our elevator is going to open right here. Here we go. I dropped. Good job. And it's really weird because there's no buttons in the elevators. So you have to be uh, so you have to be mindful of uh, which number you're pressing. All right, let's go. All right, this way. All right, the Kronos Club is to your left. When you get left. out of the elevator, left. I know. Right. And okay. here it is. Here it is. Okay. <laughs> okay, so 
I went ahead and got Ellie's plate. We got some goldfish, an orange, cookies, some sun chips. They also have Uncrustables. Did I go? Which Ellie actually does not like Uncrustables anymore, but that is an option for kids. Okay, so for the snack offerings, they have Uncrustables, some veggies with ranch and hummus. And over here, there's some little prepackaged cookies, crackers, some lemon scones, goldfish, pretzels, banana chips, trail mix, and then an assortment of chips. And then right here are these very fancy coffee makers. You can do cappuccinos, lattes, uh, regular coffee, kind of whatever, whatever you're wanting. And then they have different teas, lemon water, and then right over here in this little beverage cooler, they keep fully stocked with other beverages. So juice, Coke products, bottles of water, sparkling water, iced tea, very nice. Here's what's in the little cooler. We have apple juice, apple slices, grapes, carrots, milk, Coke products, tea, sparkling water, lemonade, and bottled water, which I believe this is the only club lounge that you have open access to bottled water and it's not something you have to request, which is actually really nice because you can just grab a couple of bottles of water on your way out every time and put it back in your room. So really nice. This lounge is just beautiful. I mean, personally, I don't think this lounge even comes close to comparing to some of the other club level lounges that are at the deluxe resorts. This is pretty spectacular. Another really cool feature to this lounge is they have these different board games. So Monopoly and Scrabble and this really cool version of Clue. That is really fun. If my husband was here, I would be spending a lot of time here enjoying some of these board games. And they have a full bookshelf and you know all kinds of stuff. Um, so you also have a similar room view, lovely, on the window. Um, that we had on the 11th floor, so that's really nice. Um, and I'm excited to look through this. So in this chest right here oh, are kids' toys. So lots of stuff in here. I mean, I don't even know what all is down in there, but lots of fun things. So while this may not be a resort like the Grand Casino Tower, you know, may not be the number one place that you think of that, you know, is kid friendly, but they do have things for kids. So don't feel like you can't bring your kids here because you absolutely can. All right, mm -hmm. we're back in the room. And what did you think of all of the snacks upstairs? Um, good. Was it yummy? Yay! What was your favorite thing? Um, Getting a treat. Oh, yeah. Was this your treat? Yeah, this is my treat. Right here. One of the cast members up there gave us two Mickey Rice Krispie treats. So yes. cute. And so far, all of the cast members in the Kronos Club have just been the absolute sweetest. Ooh. So sweet with Ellie. Oops, sorry. And just the best. I mean, it's been so fun. So it's about 1.30. So I'm gonna let Ellie have some quiet time. Are you gonna take a nap? <laughs> I got this. We'll see if she can settle down, have some quiet time, and I will check back in this afternoon. We had a nice long break in the room. It's almost four o'clock. Ellie ended up napping for an hour and a half, which is awesome. Now we are headed over to the playground. So I figured dinner in the Kronos Club is at five and we could just kind of hang out at the resort, walk around, hang out at the playground for like an hour before dinner. This is just a beautiful resort to walk around. Like the grounds of Coronado are beautiful. And I don't know, it's a little bit, you know, it's off the beaten path. It's a resort that's a little out of the way to get to. So I always forget how amazing it is here. So I know they have a really awesome playground. So I'm excited for Ellie to check it out. We've never uh, been here where she's been old enough to actually play at the playground. The last time I stayed here with her, Ellie was 14 months old. So it's been a little while. Now she is four. 
So we get to enjoy new and different things and I'm excited for her to check it out. to go but it's 4 30 and they don't open dinner until 5 but I thought now would be a great time to show you around because let me actually loop back this way because this is actually really really nice so tons of seating and I like that this doesn't feel like your typical quick service. I don't know, it feels a little more elevated. And then straight ahead here is Rick's Sports Bar. So that is another dining location here. And have the beverage station right here. I mean, a ton of seating back over there. And then everything in this little corner, all of the coolers with drinks and snacks, your refillable mugs. And they actually have a ton of options here. So pizza, pasta, traditional like chicken fingers and burgers. And then they have a lot of like Tex-Mex type options as well. So yeah, what's going on here? And then if you come out of the quick service and go left, there's another sit-down restaurant called Maya Grill. And I haven't heard much about this location. I don't hear people talking about this. So I feel like it's pretty easy to get a reservation here. And I mean, it looks like, yeah, quesadillas, chicken enchiladas, fish tacos, chips and guacamole. So, I don't know. I'm curious, there are a lot of dining options here. Between everything in this building here, you have three bridges on the water. You also have Toledo up in the tower at Grand Casino, the Dahlia Lounge. I mean, there's, there's a lot of dining here. And another dining location, well, kind of more grab and go, but Rick's Cafe or Cafe Rick's from 7 a.m. to 12.30 and it looks like pastries and coffee and kind of stuff, but this would be another grab-and-go spot for breakfast. Oh, breakfast burritos, empanadas. So, yeah, really nice. If the quick service is a little too busy, just pop over here. And this is where the old check-in area used to be before Grand Destino was built. Now it's just kind of an open workspace, Again, this is a conference resort. So, you know, this area stays pretty full. I mean, all of the tables to my right are being utilized. So really nice that they've kind of converted this space. But now that Grandestino is the main check-in area, they didn't really need this area anymore. But I do love that it cuts through, like you have this covered, air-conditioned walkway between Grandestino and the quick service. So if you need to get to the dining and the gift shop and all of that, you don't have to walk outside, which is a big deal at a moderate resort because a lot of times you're just kind of stuck with these really long walks back to your building from the main location. So I like that this little covered area was added between the quick service and Grand Casino. So kind of fun to explore that area, but 
we're headed back to the tower. I think we're just gonna hang out and wait until Kronos Club opens dinner at five um, instead of waiting at the quick service for a pizza for Ellie. Hopefully they have something kid friendly there. I'm assuming they'll have at least a couple of options, but we'll see. We're back on the 15th floor and we're just gonna hang out for, I think we only have like five more minutes until dinner. So we're gonna hang out and just wait to see what dinner has. Starting out, they have scallops with sweet peppers and some really yummy meatballs. There's still the veggies with hummus and ranch, as well as corn dogs and ketchup, of course. And then over here is the verde gazpacho pan con tomato with bread and then all kinds of assorted meats and cheeses, olives, and citrus couscous. In addition to beer and wine, they also have Truly here, but they can also do cocktails. So I just overheard someone ordering hog juice with vodka. So you can get an actual cocktail here. We got a mocktail with a, let me see if I can remember what this was. It was club soda, watermelon, lemonade, and grenadine. We can share too. Mm -hmm. Tastes like watermelon cotton candy. It's kind of what it tastes like. Very, very sweet. <laughs> but they have a lot of signature mocktails here, so that's another thing that they're kind of known for in the Kronos Club. Um, so she listed out they have four main mocktails, but apparently you can add vodka to other drinks as well. So, you know. Okay, because I couldn't let Ellie's dinner just be fruit and cheese. I pizza. <laughs> they had corn dogs, but she wasn't a fan of the corn dogs, so. We went over to the quick service, circled back for the pizza. <laughs> Is it so good? Are you a happy girl? <laughs> and of course we have a beautiful view. We wrapped up the pizza and we're just walking around the resort now. And we're in the cabana section. So they have this really fun little sandy beach area. Of course the view is just beautiful. I'm about to go lay on that hammock. Ellie is loving the sand. So we're gonna hang here for a little bit. We're back at Grandestino. I mean, the walk is like 10 seconds <laughs> from that beach area, but we were literally there. I mean, it's obviously dark outside. We were there for like an hour and a half, just hanging out. Ellie loved that area, playing in the sand. We laid in the hammocks. It was so lovely. Now we're gonna head up to the Kronos Club and check out dessert and i'm excited ellie is already chowing down on a mickey rice crispy treat so disney's kind of the place where desserts and treats kind of you know it's a little overboard here but <laughs> we're gonna go check it out that has its own dedicated restroom. So really nice, but we were gonna look in the toy bin. <gasps> what do you think? It's Mirabelle. There's a lot in there. What do you think about the toys? We got the whole setup. We got the whole setup over here. So they just put desserts out. We have celebration cookies, assorted fruit, grapes and pineapple, and all of the beer and wine. This was also out for dinner and I didn't show it, but there's also liqueur, s'mores chocolate cream, celebration cupcakes, we have m and and yogurt covered pretzels. And on this side is strawberry lemon bars. Yum. And ooh, they don't have a sign up for this one yet, but this looks really good. Some kind of blueberry cake. The strawberry lemon tart cake was so good. 
it's so light, refreshing, like that kind of a dessert. I'm gonna try the blueberry, I'm not even sure what this is. It's like a spice cake with blueberry on top. Really, really good. But I guess they ran out of the s'mores tart, so this is the vanilla cheesecake with passion fruit. So, I don't know, I'm, I'm too full at this point to try it, but very nice. All right, we are back in the room. It's just after eight o'clock. We are gonna get ready for bed and call it a, I don't know, kind of early-ish night. I don't know, is that an early night? <laughs> At Disney, I think it is. And we are gonna be up bright and early tomorrow morning for, I think, Magic Kingdom. And the only reason I say I think is because tomorrow is a good to go day for annual pass holders at Disney, which means I can show up to any park I want tomorrow without a park reservation, which is really nice. But thank you so much for hanging out with us today and following along with our check-in day at Grandestino in the Kronos Club. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you are subscribed if you wanna catch more vlogs from this trip and go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.